Kentucky Guild of Artists and Craftsmen are hosting a market day in Berea next weekend. Joining us now is the Guild's marketing director, Scott Powell. Thanks for being with us, Scott. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so tell us more about the market. Well, you know, the Guild has had a fall fair in Berea at Indian Fort Theater going back to the 1960s. and. COVID has not been kind to anyone, of course. Right. And, you know, we had we got into a situation this year where we're having to cancel the fall fair. Hard decision to come to, especially after all that tradition, but something kind of magical happened. The Log House Craft Gallery in Berea, which we everybody kind of jokes is the mothership of Kentucky art and craft. Yes. They reached out to us and said, would you like to use our lawn for a replacement event? I thought, man, if they're offering it, we need to take it. So this organic collaboration between us, the Log House, and the Shell Toey Artisan Guild in Somerset kind of formed, and that's how Market Day came about. Oh, my gosh. That, that is awesome. Yeah, it was really cool. So, so what can people expect to see there? Now, obviously, a lot of crafts. A things, lot of what's... crafts. It's fall. There are several quilters coming. It's that time of year for quilts and staying cozy and that kind of thing. There's lots of jewelry makers, woodworkers. We have, for entertainment, we have the Madison Dulcimers coming, the Bria Festival dancers. Um, a juggler oh. um, in the kids area and of course admission is free we also did not charge booth fees for any of the artists this is kind of our thank you for supporting us through the rough time and not charging admission is our way of thanking everybody who supported us over the years that's amazing it's kind of like the silver lining you kind of birthed this <laughs> birth of yeah. a better baby <laughs> to say the least now um is it too late for can people still be a part of this uh market i have two booth spaces left okay and they can email me at kyguildtv at gmail.com and I will do my best to get them worked in. And this year, it's like getting back to the roots of the festival. It really right? is. Um, our first shows in the 60s were on the Bria College campus. The very first one was in the Ag Building, which is about a block away from the Log House. So us coming back to the Bria College campus proper really is getting back to our roots. Um, a lot of older members who hadn't been active in a long time, a lot of the founders and the early members are coming back too. So yeah, it's. It's very, very much getting back to our roots, and we're excited about that. Yeah, a full circle moment. Now, if people wanted to be uh, a part of the Guild or learn more about the Guild, how do they go about that? Um, they can contact us on Facebook or YouTube. We have a YouTube channel. I'm trying to get that going again. Yes. <laughs> um, or you can email me. It's kyguildtv at gmail.com. Of course, our members are juried in. Mm -hmm. You just don't come up and say, hey, I'm, I make this. I'd like to be a member. The jury process, they look at your technique, your style, the materials you use. You're judged by some of the best in the field. So when you're accepted into the guild, you're at the top of your game, and that's how you're recognized, and other guilds recognize that as well. And no, I'd expect nothing less from right. Maria, because yes. there's oh so God. much down there. It's so creative, and yeah. like the craftsmanship, uh, it's, it's spectacular. So yeah. I know the market will be a great day. I'm hoping for it. you got to give us some good weather that day. Yeah. What day is it again? I can't October Saturday 8th. the 8th. No, next... next uh, Next Saturday. Next yeah. Saturday? Yeah, yeah. We, I think we're we're going to get that out of We here. can adjust that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it happen. Yeah. We appreciate you being here. Thank, Thank you, you all for having me.